All right, what up, people? It's your boy Chib from Green and Eagle Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. This time, it's really just some kind of a review, kind of some thoughts generally about the Emirates Cup that took place this weekend as I record this. Um, yesterday, uh, we played Benfica, um, and it was a it was a chance for us to kind of get back on track in a sense that. Our preseason has been a little bit mixed. Um, for some stupid reason, we went to both China and Australia. The last time I mentioned it, it seemed to offend a lot of people. And it wasn't a case of the it was the reason I we I said that it was a silly decision. It wasn't to offend those people that live there. Of course, they are entitled to see those teams. It was the decision of why would you make two long haul trips to both of those places for essentially a PR exercise. To me, it didn't make any sense. Um, but we did it. Um, in the very last game out in China, we got smacked up by Chelsea 3-0, and that worried a lot of people. I didn't take so much worry out of it because at the time I felt like, look, it's still pre-season. If we're going to get smacked up by Chelsea, at least it's in pre-season. Um, and then I guess fast forward to today well sorry fast forward to yesterday where we played Benfica we won 5-2 all in all deservedly so but I, defensively we're shambles we are we're an absolute shambles um, I'm not going to go through the starting lineup too too much in depth just some notable things that I noticed for some reason Wenger is determined to ruin Maitland Niles' career. Um, I still think this kid is very, very good, but he was getting a lot of abuse on Twitter. People could not understand why Maitland Niles was playing centre-back, and I was one of those guys. But the, the other thing is, is that people then all of a sudden started saying he was this, he was terrible, get rid. And I'm like, first of all, the kid is about 18, 19, and he's a central midfielder being asked to play centre-back. I mean, come on. Let's give the kid a little bit of break. Um, the irony is, is that in a couple of games he has played in the middle, he's done really well. So why then it feels the need to play him centre-back, I will never understand. But Wenger at the moment is just in that kind of experimental stage. He's on a quest to turn El Nene uh, centre-back for some unusual reason. Maybe he's just reluctant to buy a centre-back. Centre I have no idea why. Um, and now this is happening with, with uh, Maitland-Niles. Um, for me, I thought Reese Nelson, let's just get this out of the way. This kid has something. I honestly believe he's good enough to step in. And if it's as Bellerin's deputy, so be it. I don't think Ox should be on the right wing back anyway. I think he should be, while we don't have a central midfielder, he should be the person playing next to Xhaka. Um, and, I, and I don't understand why we're not doing it. I, I do believe that that hopefully is the plan for Reese Nelson because I tell you what, as far as I could tell so far, he has everything that Bellerin has. And he has the ability to find uh, find a cross. Find somebody with a cross for once. It's such a nice feeling being able to have a winger or wing back that's able to cross the ball and find somebody's head. It's a very, very rare treat for an Arsenal football team. Um, all in all, I think it was all, all the same stuff, really. I, I felt like... Um, Juru played pretty well, to be fair. Theo played pretty well, to be fair. Two people that I am highly, highly critical of. And yesterday, I thought they played pretty well. To be honest, I'm, I'm going to give them their praise. Um, Kolasinic, I thought, was fantastic yesterday. Huge beast of a unit, a big unit of a, of a man. And I know the irony of that statement coming from me. But he is one big motherfucker. And I, and I do quite like that. Uh, but he worked really hard yesterday. I thought was excellent yesterday. I thought he played really well. Notice all my praise is being reserved for yesterday. Because then we moved on to today. Playing Seville. 
Um, and if you thought the defence was a problem yesterday, we changed our defence completely today. And there were still problems. I'm going to say this now because I've just tweeted it out. But I find it ironic that a lot of people have had a go at me for my Callum Chambers video, which if you've not seen, go back into the archives and see it. Where I believe we should be holding on to Callum Chambers. Ch Callum Chambers? Callum Chambers. And I remember a couple of people, and I'm not talking about my boy Lee, I'm talking about a couple of other people completely disagreed, like, oh, Chris, what are you talking about? Sell him, sell him now. As far as I can tell, out of all the people we played centre-back this weekend, he's been our best player. I saw, I, 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 for me, he just strengthened my point. We should be looking to keep him. Um, today, though, we played El Nene. Um, we played Kashani. And we played Monreal as our centre-backs. And um, we check in goal and... It was just the same old stuff. Why El Nene is playing centre-back, I'll never understand. Um, good points was very few and far between. I can't really think of any. I thought Bellerin was te terrible today. I know he got taken off at half-time, but I thought he was terrible today. Welbeck, I think DT put it best in his video, that Welbeck is good most of the time. And I've always said it, I, I like Welbeck a lot as a player. And 80% of him is perfect. Unfortunately, the 20% is missing is kind of crucial. And that's the goal scoring part. He is just woeful. Um, but the good news is Lacazette scored his first goal at the Emirates, which I know a lot of people say, oh, well, why does that matter? It's preseason, it's preseason. Stuff like that really helps with confidence. Um... And I thought he was trying and plugging away in the first half without really getting the service. Uh, but in the second half, we did at least start to create better chances for him. And he managed to put away one. Um, but there weren't really a lot of positives today, to be honest. Going into the season, oh man, I'm a little bit worried as to what we're going to do. Um, I still think we need signings. I think we need a central midfielder. I do, in spite of me wanting to keep Callum Chambers for we need a centre-back. Um, that's being greedy. Then I would like Lamar as almost our long-term plan in case Alexis does walk for free. Um, and I believe that's why he's being bought. I think he is an Alexis uh, long-term plan. And let's just hope sometime in the next week we can get that deal over the line. But we'll see. Anyway, guys, you let me know what you think about the Emirates Cup today. Um, do you have any thoughts? Is there any worries you have? All in all, for the entire preseason, I'd say it was a C minus. Um, not a disaster, but not exactly. I'm not exactly buzzing for the new season. Um, but I am excited to see the development of Reese Nelson. I am excited to see the development of of, of Kalasanac. I am excited to see the finishing ability of Lacazette. And hopefully we'll add a, little, a couple more signings to that. And we might actually, I don't know, dare I say challenge this season? Who knows? Who knows? But we've got some stuff to do. We've got some work to do. So you let me know what you think. Uh, if you're listening to me for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Probably over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'm planning to do a video with the boys. They know who they are. They're being prepped. They're still trying to wriggle out of it. And I'm not letting them wriggle out of it. Um, so we're going to do a video at some time. Probably next week for you guys. Um, and then I'm going to get my YouTube boys out here. Which means Lee, myself. I haven't asked them yet. So this will be slight news to them. But Henry and Sam. I'm hoping they'll also be able to jump on board. And we'll do a proper thorough season preview. Um, for, st for the start of the new Premier League season. Uh, we'll probably do that potentially next Sunday as well. Um, after I've actually come back from the game. Because I'm actually going to the Chelsea game, believe it or not. So there you go. Alright guys, I'm out of here for now. Um, also, crush, destroy that like button. You know how much I appreciate it. I hope you like this video. 
Um, and I'm out of it. So take care, people. Peace.